And you're going to know her from hits like this. I just want to be part of your symphony. Yes, tonight, Swedish singing sensation Zara Larsson is going to be telling us about her new single, On My Love, which is another collaboration, but this time with David Guetta. I'm now to say hello to tonight's guest. It's the perfect com combination, rather, of food and music. Please welcome Zara Larsson and Rick Stein. <laughs> We look forward to talking about your new single yeah. very soon. Rick, we're going to go straight in there with oh your new cookbook, <laughs> Simple Supper. Because what is supper to you? Well, it's interesting, really, because some people... Th actually, Australians think supper is a bit posh, you know, mm -hmm. but, but to me, supper is maybe cheese on toast just before you go to bed. Please. But the whole idea of supper, really, is it suggests to me something informal and okay. easy to easy to do. It's interesting about words like supper and dinner because I was born and brought up on a farm in Oxfordshire and dinner was at lunch, mm. you know? Mm. It's sort of... Um, and tea, yeah. high tea, was about 5.30 and it was when you had things like chicken and salad with Heinz uh, salad cream, not mayonnaise, mm -hmm. or you had um, ham, egg and chips for yeah. high tea. Tea was in the afternoon when you had sandwiches or cake. OK. So You've re nice. He's really yeah. covered up. <laughs> she loves a soup. I think it's chippy. What do you think supper is? So, if, if somebody would ask me over to a supper, I'll be like, I'm dressing up. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's a yeah. feast. Hey, you'd be like disappointed in the Rick's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 no, I would think it was like, yeah. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting yeah. good food. I'm getting the chicken. I'm getting the... It's like a roast, See? almost. Right. See, where I'm from in Stockholm, we don't have roast. Sundays, a good fish. You know, we would have a good fish, <laughs> some potatoes, you know, it's that, like a, a proper dinner. It's like but a taste. apparently, you know, supper, okay. So little snack on the side. Well, <laughs> to me, it's it's informal. That's the thing. I trust okay. you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're right. Whatever you say. Rick, yeah. I have to say that this must be the first cookbook that's been inspired by open heart yeah. surgery, which you've actually gone through. Tell well, us a bit more about this. I did last last year when I was writing the book, or just b uh, before I started writing, because it was partly what got me going on it. And I just had this really extraordinary experience of hospital food before I had the operation. I had this fantastic haggard, sorry, I can't even say <laughs> haddock dish <laughs> with sort of olive oil and a bit of red pepper. And, and it, it was just a little tiny bit of vinegar and some chives on it. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, it was a nice hospital in middle London, the Royal Brom Brompton. But then the day after I'd had the surgery, uh, I, and I was like drugged up to the eyeballs and, and this very nice girl came and said, what do you want for lunch tomorrow? <laughs> so I thought, well, the, the only best thing would be lamb and mint sauce, but it was terrible. It was so sort of gummy, right? <laughs> and I was thinking, I've, I've got to do a book about simple things. And, and it sort of inspired me. Yeah. But what is also amazing about it, I just had a letter from the Royal Brompton asking me to do some recipes for the hospital. Oh, that's oh, lovely. Oh, so lovely. they'll come straight out of simple supper. That's no great question. Yes. <laughs> that's the thing, you know, the, the whole book is about simple recipes for everyone. Yeah. Also, it's lovely to see you back fit and healthy yes. as well, I should say. Well, thank you. There's a, a section in there, I'm speaking for myself here, Rick. There's a section in there, you know, for, for, for one, one dish, one person. Oh, here we yeah. go. The Get single the violins section, out, we yeah. call it. The single <laughs> supper. The yes. single supper, single yeah. <laughs> For losers. Like, no, I'm joking. Um, well, what's but, that about? Because that's actually inspired by, by, by your wife, isn't it? You want the, the, it? It was indeed. I mean, part of the reason for um, that chapter was... I think a lot of people do like cooking on their own, really. And, I mean, it's, it's sort of mi a mixture. Actually, the beginning of the chapter, I think a lot of the time I'm, I'm having supper on my own, I'm probably a bit pissed because I've been out somewhere well, and yeah, come back. We'll, we'll leave that language <laughs> for later on. Yes, we'll carry on. Sorry. Apologies for that, yeah. Um, but, but basically, um, it's sort of dishes that I cook that I really, really um, like... But I, I just want to do it for myself because it's a bit tricky to do it for more people, you know. Mm. So I, um, there's one dish in there I think that's particularly lovely. is a lemon sole. It's one of my favourite fish, a bit underrated. Oh, <laughs> Look but, at that. Oh, wow. Um, it's the sort yeah. of thing I cook on my own and it's like done just in a pan a la manure, which means it's fried in a bit of butter and then you make a, a sauce with butter, uh, lemon juice, um, parsley and capers. And it's the sort of thing that... You know, every time I do it, I sit there and I have uh, maybe just one glass of white burgundy. <laughs> uh, thank you, Gethin. So, so sorry about that. <laughs> it's just that I do fill my book with reality, you know. That's why I started it with my heart operation. And I do say sometimes, 
you know, it, it's just to make the book come alive a bit. Because one of the it's things I really... Well, do you does. know what, Rick? It I'll really tell you what, lovely. I'm going to have a go at that lemon <laughs> yeah. sole and I'm going to send in a photo and I want you all to have a go at yeah. home also and send in a photo because you can find the recipe on our website. It should be on there straight after the sh uh, show. Rick, thank you so Cheers. much. Simple Suppers. Simple? Simple Suppers for is out today. today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the number Proppers. one there. And you can catch a whole host of Rick's programmes over on the iPlayer. Not going to have soup tonight. You've been inspired, aren't you? Might go out for dinner, get in. Big change for <laughs> yep. you tonight. Don't make me blush. Uh, still to come, <laughs> Zara will be telling us why her youngest sister is the star of her new music, music video and will be revealing how we're celebrating the release of the last ever Beatles single. Yeah. <laughs> It's been an exciting day for Beatles fans as this afternoon the news broke that their very last song, Now and Then, is being released. Yes, and next Wednesday we have the exclusive UK TV broadcast of a very special film that will be telling the whole story of this incredible recording. This is John, Paul, George and Ringo as you've never heard them before. When we lost John, we knew that it was really over. I was talking to Yoko and she said, Oh, I think I've got a tape of John. Paul called me up and said he'd like to work on Now and Then. He put the bass on, I put the drums on. It's the last song that my dad and Paul and George and Ringo will get to make together. How lucky was I to have those men in my life? Oh, I cool. cannot wait for next, next Wednesday. Wednesday for that. <laughs> now, Sarah, keeping on the subject of music, your new single is out, yeah. um, On My Love, a collaboration with David Guetta. What kind of love are we talking <laughs> Yeah, We're talking about just a, a, a big, unconditional love that you could really have for anyone. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner. I choose to dedicate the song to my sister. I've written a lot of songs about her, um, but I just wanted her in this video mm -hmm. really bad. And I think it's a, it's a beautiful song, and it's about loving someone so much, and you know you can bet everything on that love. OK, let's yeah. have a listen. Cool. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's hard to I tell did you. It. I did hear someone <laughs> down by the dressing room. Oh, like, the story oh. is, it was still in my pocket playing when I walked past you, and then yeah. I was really embarrassed. <laughs> Gethin's blushing. But as we just saw, you're obviously used to performing with yeah. your sister, but did you ever think that you'd go from home videos to global pop videos with her? I mean, that was always the dream. Mm. In this video as well, we, we have um, some home, yeah. You there know, well, from when we were younger, and it's it's it was so amazing to see these tapes because, on the majority of them, we we're performing, mm -hmm. and you know, it's just mom and dad or whoever wants to watch. But um, and now we can do this song together, mm -hmm. and it's something that we will always have, and that we can look back at in, you know, in a few years, and um, yeah. it's it's amazing. But I I'm not really surprised because I've always had tunnel vision mm -hmm. of what I wanted to do in life, which is this. I mean, I'm really living my dream, but uh, I'm very thankful and happy. Mm. Yeah. You were saying as well earlier, weren't you? It's like, it, we're hanging on to summer with that song as yeah. well. It's really Keeps it like upbeat. Uplifting. Keeps it feel good. Message just in. One viewer would like to know how Zara is feeling now that her tour has been announced, I which I think you put on your socials today. Yeah, I put it today. Finally, people have been asking me for a long time. I haven't done a tour in a long time. You know, it's been COVID. I think that was the last time when I did my own shows. So it's, um, it's so exciting. I mean, everybody who knows me knows that live is where it's at. Mm -hmm. Like, I love to write songs. I love to do videos. But being on stage is just... I want to perform. Like, I'm a performer, you mm. know? So uh, I and, think the show's... You love the UK as well. We, I do. We know that. I do love the UK. And you like going up, up north as well? I like going up north. The tour starts They're, in Manchester? Yeah. The further up north, the, the, the more of a party it is. <laughs> it really is. I love, love Manchester. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, fun. so fun. But honestly, I think UK, just in general, has been so warm and welcoming to me throughout my whole career. A lot of people who are not from here think... I'm British, yeah. just because... It's I, such good English, uh, thank honestly. Thank you, yeah. thank you. And you mentioned about an album accent. as well. 
Sorry? You mentioned about an album Yes, as my well. album is coming out as well, February 9th. Okay. So around that same time, you know, you get a couple weeks to learn the lyrics to the new songs. And then... Off you go. See and then everyone's yeah. joining in. Yeah. What's, uh, what are you listening to when, when you're cooking at home? Uh, well, I'm... Right, I, say Zara Larson right now. It's, funny, <laughs> it's not so much when I'm cooking, but I just... Um, when, when I was in the restaurant, it, it's... Do you know when somebody starts a song and then everybody... It gets into everybody's head? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, one for me was under pressure. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you're always under pressure in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just go... Oh, Oh. Not yeah. under pressure. Yeah. What, again, what you don't know is that actually Rick was used to be in a band. You like this, so have a quick look at this. Oh my god! Oh, no. oh look <laughs> at that! Back wow! In the that, blowed. that was at school. Wow. That was at school. Probably is a good it? place to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah, you. A big thank you, Zara and Rick, <laughs> for joining you. us. Your single with David Guetta is out now. Indeed. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> Shall I say goodbye? Well, come on, say goodbye. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with two titans of the music world, Sir Cliff Richard and James Blunt. We'll see you tomorrow. Have see a lovely ya. evening. Thank you. <laughs>